on mm -hmm. Steve Wilkes. Have you guys spoken well, you know, to his stage and the stage in his career and where you want the team to go? Is there any reason to think he won't be back next season? No, that's stuffed out. I mean, we'll talk about a ton as this week goes. We'll talk about a ton in the off season. I mean, where we want our team to be, our defense, our offense, special teams, and that's that's a lot of conversations, a lot of film, a lot of um, personnel or salary cap um, things we got to discuss, drafts. So, no, we're just haven't even watched the game yet, to tell you the truth. Steve Wilkes coming back next year? Uh, I haven't talked to anybody yet. So, yeah, I expect all our coaches to be back. With the 2003 NFL season coming to a close and the Super Bowl being over, you know what time it is. That means it's the time where teams start poaching San Francisco 49ers coaches and adding them to their team. As it stands right now, the San Francisco 49ers have had three offensive coaches hired elsewhere. We haven't covered any of those hires, so we're going to discuss them all right now. Starting with right after the Super Bowl ended, uh, Clint Kubiak, who is the 49ers pass game coordinator, was hired as the Saints offensive coordinator. Now, this is something that we knew was coming. It was basically agreed to um, upon in principle prior to the Super Bowl. They just had to wait until the Super Bowl was over before they could officially make the announcement and make the hire. So Clint Kubiak is gone. Uh, and he is off to the Saints as the OC. We also found out yesterday that the San Francisco 49ers will lose their assistant offensive line coach um, to the Raiders, and he will become their uh, O-line coach. So James Craig uh, will no longer be with the Niners. He will now be the Raiders offensive line coach. And then what we found out today, uh, according to Adam Schefter, is the San Francisco 49ers uh, assistant head coach and running backs coach, Anthony Lynn, um, who has uh, previous head coaching experience uh, as recently with the Chargers, he will be hired as the commander's run game coordinator. So obviously familiar faces with the commanders, Adam Peters. Uh, brings a familiar face over to Washington, and it is Anthony Lynn who has served as the assistant head coach and running, back, running backs coach since 2022. So that's three offensive coaches that find themselves on other teams. Now it'll be very interesting to see if we see any other coaches um, poached, but man, um, it, it feels like Obviously, we know Kyle Shanahan is the offensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, but um, his his run game and pass game coordinators constantly are getting poached. I mean, just last year, we lost Bobby Slowick um, to the Houston Texans and their offensive co coordinator position, and he did a phenomenal job in that role. Um, so another OC coming out of the Kyle Shanahan tree. This time, it's Clint Kubiak. So... Um, what I know people have, uh, some gripes with Kyle Shanahan right now, but again, it, it's really hard to not give him the credit for being able to develop internally, develop coaches, um, that teams are constantly looking at the San Francisco 49ers to see who they can poach, who they can take away, who they can hire away and try to kind of implement their own version of the Kyle Shanahan scheme. So, um, another one. Bites the dust. Three, I should say, bite the dust. Um, we're still waiting to see what the status is of Steve Wilkes. Kyle Shanahan was non-committal yesterday on um, bringing back Steve Wilkes, and it's we found out that uh, Kyle Shanahan had to call a timeout in overtime because uh, Steve Wilkes called a zero blitz look and didn't disguise it, and Kyle Shanahan didn't like it. And he called the timeout. And if you guys don't remember, in that Minnesota game where everything kind of hit the fan for Steve Wilkes, um, he called a zero blitz um, at the end of the half in which the Minnesota Vikings scored a touchdown on um, and became a huge deal uh, and a huge issue. So the fact that Kyle Shanahan is calling timeouts um, on his defensive coordinator based on a look that he doesn't like, which is the uh, cover zero blitz. Um, which means you're bringing six and you have no safety help or anything like that over the top. 
uh, in the Super Bowl. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if the 49ers are going to bring back Steve Wilkes. Uh, again, it was a hard task trying to bring in a guy to fit into what the 49ers were doing, not what Steve Wilkes was known for doing. So we'll see if Steve sticks around. Um you know, I think he had a up and down year. I think he was able to rebound after the bye, and they were kind of uh, able to get into a better rhythm and, and get back on track. But um, it could just be a situation where maybe maybe it didn't work out. Maybe it didn't work out in the end. So we're going to have to see if Kyle does retain Steve Wilkes or if he tries to go out and look elsewhere. I do know that, you know, Mike Rabel is out there. Um, obviously a lot of people are talking about Bill Belichick, so it is going to be a very interesting situation, um, moving forward, but Hey, we are going to find out it's that time of the year where changes will be made and we will have to wait and see what those changes are. Let me know what you guys think about these coaching moves. Let me know if you think the 49ers should make a change at defensive coordinator. And if so, who should they bring in? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.